Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire, where we are invading Japan. The island state that could possibly resist us the most. Well, besides for maybe Australia, but... Eh. <laughs> um, we're fighting against Japan right now, and... Um, they're fighting us. Like, they're fighting us with all they got. They're really trying to defeat us with everything. Let's go see, um... U67 go right there, U22 go right there. Oh wait, you guys have troops. You guys go right there, then go right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're trying to defeat the rest of their army. We're trying the hardest we can. We might actually lose this army right here, but we killed so many of them, man. It, 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 at the very least, this is going to be a pirate victory. You can already tell. Oh wait, you guys didn't drop them off? Okay, go back there, drop them off. Now, we're going to go send these guys in. Go try to go save those men. Okay, that's really who we're trying to save here. There we go. Now they're outnumbered. Okay, now we're going to go pick up you guys. Then we're also going to go pick up you guys. You guys get on the boats. You guys go right here. And yeah, this is how the Japanese war is going so far. Oh my goodness, they just threw like 199 men in that. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I think if we're going to have to reinforce these guys, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Because I don't think we're going to be able to do it any other way. They seem to be just keep throwing in more men. Oh, we lost that battle, but it was... I don't think we lost that battle. I, I think everyone would kind of... Yay! I think everyone could kind of agree with me in saying that we basically won that battle, but we only lost because we literally lost too many troops. But I mean, literally, this sl we're, we're slaughtering so many of them. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wowing factor, really, it is. <sighs> Oh my goodness, and how are we doing over here in these, all these other states I haven't really been paying attention to? Let's go right here, let's go right here. Let's see, where are you guys going? Are you guys are going somewhere over there. All right, let's see, we got this conquered, we got this. Oh, we almost got Afghanistan almost all conquered. Let's finish off Afghanistan already. Okay? Okay. Seriously, let's finish them off. I don't want to keep them in the world longer than they have to be. Okay, and then, let's see, China over here. Alright, you guys go right here. Uh, this was how I, I think that was how I could have like avoided what just happened. Uh, man. Okay, you guys are creating the rest of your men. These guys are almost ready, but not quite. Let's see. You guys are gonna finish up with all the sieges. All right, we're trying to help you guys out. Let's see, we're finishing up with the Afghanistan sieges down there. Should be done here very, very soon. Let's just finish up with the Afghanistan sieges. There we go. Afghanistan, you're now out of this. Yeah. There we go. Afghanistan's now conquered. Zing Zing should be out of this very, very soon here too. Um, I think that's the last soldier. No, that's part of a new army over here. Wait, was that an army still building over here? Oops. <laughs> Whoops. And I might have done a little bit too quickly of invasion. Let me go conquer some of this, though. That must be an insanely big trench battle right there. Oh, man. As we slowly just take over all of China. Oh, my goodness. Let's go see. Let's just go hit them right here. Let's go hit them right there. Let's just go keep invading. Keep invading the land. Yeah, to go destroy these guys. No, no, no. Keep right there. Okay. Then, yeah. See, I like this. This is, this makes me feel kind of less bad because these guys are actually fighting pretty hard for their homeland. You can tell that they're, that they're insanely trying to hold me off right now. Like, they're trying. These guys are insanely trying. Let's see, and they have kind of annoyed me with adding more men. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. Let's go put this army right into that army to kind of give my people reinforcements. There we go. Let's see, they're having more men go to that one. They're more worried about that one than this one. This one are like, yeah, we're good. You just keep throwing men at it until we see what happens. Let's go pick up that army. Hmm. Yeah, they've they've almost they've I think they've completely lost all morale. Now they have some morale left, but we're just it's just too much of an advantage, I think. Especially now that I'm going to add, like, that many more men. Literally, I have more men there now. 
Let's see, we need one more army to go distract these guys, and then we're all golden. This army's good enough for now. I don't need to have any more men in it. I would like to, but I don't need to. Let's go see. Yeah, we're only missing a cavalry unit. Okay, you guys go right here. Go protect that 37 stack that's fighting 100k. Oh my goodness. And look at these battles, man. Look at these battles. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. The Battle of Yagoshima, guys. This was an insane battle. Like, I think this will actually... We should actually take a moment to look at this battle. Because look at this. I deployed a total of... Uh, let's see... Initial, initial, of six, they deployed a total of a half a million people. I only deployed like a hundred K, and I won. I literally killed more one in six of them. Well, they only slaughtered like 0 0.5. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Okay, divide up the men. Go send half of them to go kill off these. Go kill off the last little remaining bits of their of their of theirs. Let's go destroy this army right here. Dang man, that's just that that right there, man. That's heavy. <laughs> I guess for lack of word for lack of words, that's just heavy, man. Oh my goodness. We're gonna finish off the rest of these guys, of course. I keep forgetting to finish off the rest of these guys. I mean Japan. That's the battles are just crazy, man. The battles are just crazy. Oh, gosh. And then right here, just destroy the rest of them, man. We're trying to just defeat the rest of this army. Let's go to see. Give it a second. We'll be able to destroy the rest of this army. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to see. There we go. Yagoshiba has finally been conquered. It took us years. Took, about, took us about a good amount of time and a great many bloodbaths to get to that point. Oh my goodness. And then, let's see. Any good able-bodied soldiers? Hmm. I think we lost all of our good able-bodied soldiers in a massive genocide. Let's go send you guys over. Pretty sure you guys can go get over here, right? Yes, because you guys can go through there now. Yeah, I actually have a land bridge now. Okay, and you guys go right here. Okay, Okina, let's see, and you guys are, we defeat the last little bit of the, Jap of the Japanese army, as we slowly defeat the rest of this, yeah, Japan's done for, but they gave, I will give them credit though, they gave me a fight, they gave me a fight like it was no other, they really, nation-wise, they pushed me to the beyond limit, and I like that. Go destroy this massive 200k stack. Oh wow, that's a big gigantic 200k stack. Let's see, how many more men do you have? 243, wow, we're gonna be fighting a lot. <laughs> oh gosh. They also have ships now out. Still not big enough to fight me. Let's go see, you guys are now done for, so let's just end it. There we go. Now, you guys go to the shoreline. We're gonna need you guys, apparently. Because this war with Japan is taking... A lot more out of us than we had all anticipated. As anyone would anticipate, actually. You guys. Now, you guys go to the shoreline, too. Just Actually, you guys go combine with these guys, so you guys can make an even more powerful army. One worthy of me. Alright, let's see. And then you guys right here. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, right there. Stockpile T. Destroy the last little bits of them. They're right now cornered in Yagoshiba. Let the fallen soldiers that fought on Yagoshiba finally bury to rest. I think I did a stupid move by attacking with that many soldiers. No, they actually lost. They actually lost. Wow. Okay. They must really be destroyed. Okay, go right here. Go destroy all these men before they like become big gigantic battles and I have to stop fighting them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A couple more big armies should be able to defeat the rest of Japan. Oh my goodness, the death toll, man, the death toll. This is... Wow. I... <laughs> death toll, death toll big. Oh, this is gonna, that's gonna be, ooh. 
Ooh, that, that's that's gonna be terrible. Oh, Ottoman Empire though, we're getting quite bigger. We're getting bigger and bigger. Each time I look at our name, it gets slightly bigger each time, which is nice. We're destroying all the little nations in the world, which is helping us out a little bit. Let's see, Ottoman Mexico. I love that. I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. Let's see. If I could just buy war with you guys, I would. So just buy war. Let's see. Japan though. Let's go, guys. Let's move on. Move the soldiers up. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They don't even have a chance now because I literally have more soldiers than they do. But brave men, man. Brave men for fighting that hard. Alright. Go crush these guys. Go send half the men down here. Go crush whatever army that might spawn. Okay, they're all moved. Okay, go right here. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Go crush this army. Yeah, we're just going to keep moving down. See, is there any more we can get? No. Um, market regulations, sure, why not? We really can't get anything else, so why not? Oh, let's see, and then you guys, just, let's go destroy these guys. Wait, wait, let's go get you guys grouped up. Go destroy these guys. Yeah, there we go. And they're probably going to expand a little bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see. We have a massive amount of troops. So you see, divide up the men. Go we'll send half the army right there. Go we'll send the other half the army right there. Try squishing all this. Um, let's see. Have any of the sword troops arrived? Yes, they have. Go pick up this army right here. Because we're going to go need these armies. As you guys can see, Japan has basically destroyed most of my initial troops, but we destroyed a lot of them too this is definitely not oh man this is this is probably the most bloody exchange exchange we've had in our history so far I mean this is more bloody than when we fought the Chinese and that's really really hard to do considering that the Chinese were insanely big threat for us okay so they obviously want to think that they're bigger in their britches right there move up move up right here Destroy their last little bits of army right there. Nine, eight, seven, six, eighty-one. <laughs> oh, that must be maddening. Just like 71, 72. We might actually win this. 80 troops survive. Ah, gosh dang it. <sighs> yeah, that must be frustrating right there. You were that close to winning. And all of a sudden I just land like a plop of twenty troops on your on your face. Oh my goodness. And now they're back up in the corner again. Uh, actually, you guys just sit back here because I know you guys are the weak ones. Destroy that last little bit of army. Oh, wow. I think they just cornered themselves. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Pretty sure they just cornered themselves. So everyone we're going to watch is the last little Japanese troops die. And now we're moving on to the rest of their country. And I'm going to go pick up my next group of men. We're going to combine and go right here on the shore. You guys go right here. Oh man. Yeah. There's not much they can really do about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Just keep going. Keep going onto the fold. Just keep on invading. Keep on invading until Japan finally gives up. Until they finally realize that. Their war is fruitless, and I'm literally going to beat them into pulp, potpourri if they continue. Uh, but it was, as they say, a good war. I mean, we literally took a lot of damage. Ooh, okay. Let's see. We're almost to Endo. Let's go see. You guys go destroy the last little bits of the empire right here. The last little bits of the Japanese uh, men, troops, whatever you want to call it with our freshly made troops surround them right here actually you guys should stay right there you guys divide up into two okay go send half of the army right there make sure that they don't escape there we go and let's see go send this army in right here to go block them up keep moving closer to endo the last little bits of the Japanese army bravely fighting in um, the county of Kanazuwa. 
Yeah, I butchered that heavily. And there we go, everyone. The final army of the Japanese defeated on the fields of battle. <sighs> Good fight. Good fight right there. That, if anyone wants to give a clap for the Japanese right now, they really should. That was a definite good fight. They fought me, even though they were less advanced, and even though they had no technology to fight me with, they fought me tooth and nail, and they deserve praise for that. They really do. I am officially, in the Ottoman history, we will not remember them as one of those sniveling people that we just conquered. We will remember the Japanese as truly great fighters. There we go. Okay, everyone, now it's time to add more states to our empire. And let's see. We got more states right over there. Now we got Japan, and now we got all this region underneath our control. So, we got a ton of troops in Japan now, which is good, I guess. Where should we move up next? Well, the next nation, let's see, how much does America have right now? America, you have 126 brigades. Wow. <laughs> Compared to the nation we just fought, you guys are weak. Um... Actually, I believe the next nation we should probably conquer is going to be um, a combination of Canada and Brazil. I'm pretty sure none of Brazil's allies are going to join in, so we can probably count on us just wiping the floor with them. So, that's good, but um, let's see. Let's go, let's go start having some relationships, uh, talks with uh, Canada. Canada, okay. Then let's go to our place over here. Let's go start picking up all of our armies and sending them all the way to Canada. And start just landing massive amounts of troops there. Because I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this army for future invasions of America. First we have to go invade Canada. Let's go see. You guys get on your boats. You guys get on here. You guys go all the way to here. Yeah. And from here, what we'll do is we'll just fight all the Canadians and defeat them. They're not as numerous as Japan, so I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be a slaughter. Alright, let's see. You guys combine and make one unit. You guys go right here. You know, go right there. You guys are getting out of short. Good. Good. Okay, you guys this combine. Make two units. Because I know this is a big unit. Okay. Did you guys just combine? Did you guys just sit there? There we go. Yes, there we go. Let's see, make get more units in. Never mind. Just keep giving me research points. Oil, yay! Diplomatic points. And let's see. Let's see. Mass. No. This right here. Get that. Let's see. Open up all new factories. Subsidize them. The entire world's economy right on my backs. Alright, kaboom! Let's see, can we support this many troops? Yeah, we can. Wow. There's a lot of clippers. I can support a lot. Let's see. You guys will go to Yo Yokorat. Okay. And then let's see. Uh, we actually don't have another army for you guys. Okay, well. Huh. Because that guy's going to have to wait. You guys have to wait patiently for when another army comes. So we don't have another army, but. Speaking of which, I do want to start transferring all of you guys to, to like, the Americans, the Americas, so, let's see, we're going to have to build another massive amounts of Flores and Asia, no, we're going to need to build some in Europe, why not, let's build some in Asia, let's just build as many as we can and just have them all group up in Constantinople, then just go start sending them out to our colonies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at this, man. Look at this. Just the the slow, the slow annexation of the world, man. It's it's unbelievable. Man. America, you must know you guys are next. There is must there must be no your intelligence must tell you guys that you guys are going to be conquered. I'm going Oh, uh, and let me guess, in Japan, Austrian nationalist. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, I, you're being serious right now. Austrian nationalist. Huh. Yeah, it's probably good that I keep my revolt risk down. That way they don't, like, spawn all these weird countries. So let's see. El Salvador. 
probably make El Salvador. Is there anything else I can make Honduras? Uh, inshore. We can make inshore. Uh, let's see. Luca, no. I want to finish this before before I end today's episode. I'm going to finish this. Nicaragua, orange. We can make orange. All right. Lithuania. I know it's not pronounced orange, people, but that's always how I remembered. It's orange state. State of North Burno. Why not? Let's make that. If we keep freeing places in the uh, southern, in the Indonesian ma region, maybe they will eventually become a powerful nations. Oh my goodness, that'd be big. Ionian Islands. We can free the Ionian Islands. I don't really care about them. And let's see, we need two more states. Let's see. Could actually free Afghanistan if we really wanted to. Uh, Catalonia. You know, let's free Catalonia because I don't think Catalonia will become a great power. There we go. Less infamy now, so that means less people should hate me. You guys are gonna go kill off these guys. You guys, yeah, my, I have a really good rebel killing squad. Yeah, you guys go right there. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been a great episode. This is really becoming fun. Can't wait for our future invasions of Canada, United States, and Brazil. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.